Hello everyone. So in the previous lecture, we studied about what is ERP, what is SAP, what is the history of SAP, what are the features of SAP, and what is SAP R by 3 architecture. Now we will continue that topic. Now we have the next terminology is SAP Net Weaver. Widely used terminology in SAP and in SAP you will mainly listen this term. So what is SAP Net Weaver? It is a technology platform for all of the SAP applications. Now suppose SAP ERP which we talked about in the previous lecture. SAP is an ERP. SAP ERP, it is one SAP application. Suppose we have another SAP application, SAP CRM, Customer Relationship Management. Suppose SAP SRM, Supply Relationship Management. SAP PI, Process Integration. So we have so many SAP applications. So what is the integrated technology platform for them that platform is called as sap netweaver means sap netweaver is a platform which is supporting the various sap applications suppose sap erp sap crm sap srm sap pi so all those applications are supporting by which technology platform that is SAP NetWeaver. So SAP NetWeaver is a technology platform for all these applications. Now we will move on to our next term that is ABAP. Now what is ABAP? Before going into ABAP, I will just talk every software is developed with the help of some programming language. Suppose we have C is a language, C++ is a language, Java is a language, Python is a language, v Visual Basic, .NET. We have so many programming language. So for SAP, what is the programming language? ABAP is the programming language. The full form of ABAP is advanced business application programming language. You will always see everywhere a BAP slash four. Now, what is this four? It means a BAP is a fourth generation language. Now, we will discuss the important term because we have to learn a BAP in the upcoming lectures. So we should understand where ABAP lies or in this SAP architecture. So we have three layers in the SAP architecture. So our ABAP programming language lies on which layer? It will lies on application layer. And the simple explanation is on the application layer, you are writing the code, you are developing the programs. If you want to write the code, if you want to develop the programs, you require a programming language. So ABAP is the programming language. So our ABAP lies on which layer? Application layer. So whenever we will proceed with learning of ABAP, we will always deal with application layer. We will write the code, everything, we, whatever we will develop the objects, we will deal with the application layer of SAP R by me 3 architecture. Now, now we will come on to again important thing because we are learning a BAP or we will learn a BAP in the upcoming lectures. So we should understand it belongs to which module of SAP. So generally in SAP, we have two kinds of modules. First one is functional module. 
and the second one is technical module. Now, what are the various functional modules in SAP? So we have lots of functional modules in SAP, but I noted down few importance. Suppose I will say first module SAP SD. SD is sales and distribution module. SAP MM, material management module. SAP PS, project system module. SAP FICO, finance and controlling module. SAP HR, human resource module. Now currently it is it, it currently it is renamed as SAP HCM, human capital management. We have SAP WM module that is warehouse management. We have lots of other functional modules are also available. Now, similar to functional module, we have technical modules are also in SAP. So we have lots of technical module, but I noted down few technical modules. Suppose first one, SAP basis, SAP ABAP, SAP BIPO. I will give some overview of SAP basis module. What is this SAP basis module? So SAP basis is a person who is responsible for whole administration and monitoring of SAP system. Suppose I will go for an example. Suppose you are working in an organization Suppose you require a software in your laptop or your laptop is not working. So what you will do in that case? You will connect with your internal IS, infrastructure team of your specific organization. They will help you to resolve the issues or if you require some software, they will help in the installation of that particular software. Similarly is in case of SAP whatever the difficulty you will face in terms of authorization, in terms of user ID password, in terms of system. So all those things are resolved by which person? SAP basis person. So he's whole and sole responsible for the administration and monitoring of SAP system. Generally, SAP basis support is always 24 by 7 because system should not down. Customer business should not impact. So a person, so in SAP basis, people are generally working in shifts because basis support always customer require 24 by 7 because system should not be down at any point of time. So SAP basis person is whole and sole responsible for the administration of SAP. Now we will talk about SAP ABAP. Just a few minutes back we discussed it is a programming language for SAP. It means in the upcoming lectures we will learn a technical module of SAP that is SAP ABAP. Now we have another technical module also SAP BIBO that is BI is business intelligence and BO is business object. So purpose of these modules is all about the reporting. So we will make reporting with the help of this particular module. So in SAP, we have various dedicated areas you are working in a dedicated module of SAP and we will learn a BAP programming language in the upcoming lectures. Now, that is, is the, that this is in this particular video. In the next video, what we will do, we will just log in into SAP and we will discuss the further things. So in this particular video, what we discussed, we discussed what is SAP NetWeaver, what is ABAP, what is ABAP, what are the various modules of SAP. So in the upcoming video, we will 
configure the SAP. We will do the SAP configuration in the system and we will log in into SAP and we will discuss few more things. So that's it in this video. Thank you.